I don't know whether to laugh or cry right now. Hey guys, it's Steph and welcome back. So, <laughs> as you can see, my backdrop is looking a little bit different today. It's looking a little bit more crowded. And that is because I thought we could do a bit of a blog and mail haul slash PR unboxing, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, we've got a lot to get through, so let's get into the video. I don't even know which side to start with. Oh my god, this is like Christmas right now. Okay, I'm gonna start right at the top here. So this first thing, okay, this is from Deck of Scarlet, and inside it says, Stephanie, enjoy our new November-December palette. So basically it looks like this, and Deck of Scarlet is a palette that comes out every two months. I believe it's $29.95, and I do have a discount code which I'll leave a link to down below. So just got a little bit of info about the palette there, and this one is actually in collaboration with Amy Rose Walker, who is a UK YouTuber, I believe, so go on, girl. So basically every other month they team up with a different YouTuber. They've had Yvonne Wahab, I never know how to say her name, Sandra Deluxe, um, they've had a bunch of different YouTubers and they basically help to create their own palette every single month. Let's see if I can get this out. This is what it looks like first of all. So that is what it looks like, as you might be able to see, it's got kind of like a wallpaper print on it. Don't know what that's actually called, but to me, this reminds me of wallpaper. And then inside... Ooh. So what we have here is two different lip colours, we have Pinky Promise and Sass Queen. We have three eyeshadows, we have Dream, Gold Digger and Luna. Gold Digger looks intense, oh my god, that's like a super yellowy toned... Oh my god, that is such an intense shadow, I might actually put that on in a second. And we also have Luna, which is this deeper purple shade. These are honestly such intense shadows. Oh my god, I love that. So then what we have here, I think that's kind of like, it's either like a blush topper or a highlighter. And we have Dusk, which is a sort of like, I think it's a matte, maybe slightly shimmery bronzer. Let's take a look. Ooh. These feel so good. Yeah, that looks like a highlighter to me. I mean, you guys can see just how, like, pigmented all the products are. I actually really, really like these palettes. I have worked with Deco Scarlet in the past, and I always really, really like the palettes. It's nice to kind of take away with you. I actually took the last one. can't remember who it was with. I think it was actually the Yvonne one. Um, I took that one away with me on holiday, and I used it quite a lot. So they're really, really good if you like to travel a lot or if you just like to kind of experiment with makeup a little bit. Let's pop some of this gold eyeshadow on. See what that looks like. Okay, that is super opaque. That's not like a little wash of colour, that is like... Ooh, that's so nice. Okay, I'm loving that. And I don't think I actually said what the other um, shadow was. It's just kind of like a basic lid shade, which is very, very useful. And obviously you could go ahead and use the bronzer as well as like a transition or something. So I think that's really cool. And then in the box, as you might be able to see here, you also get two little extras. So what do we have here? We have got the Long Lasting Eyeliner. Oh, it's got a little bunny on it. I didn't actually know. Let me just have a look. Yeah, so it turns out that Deck of Scarlet is actually completely cruelty free as well. That is awesome. So this liner here is in the shade Twilight. Just pop that there. Oh my god, that's so creamy. It's kind of like a dark brown, I guess you could say. Like a slaty brown grey. And then what we have here, this is a lip liner in the shade Belle. Oh my god. Girl is after my own heart. This is like a nudie shade. Okay. Yep, that's going on my face right now as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is right up my street. Whenever I go for like pink nudes, this is the sort of colour I go for. I mean, should I try the highlighter? I've already got a ton of highlighter on right now, but that's never stopped me before, so I'll take a little bit of the highlighter. That's called Prosecco. Oh my god. That, like, over the top of my other highlighter is super intense. So like I said, I've had a few of their palettes in the past, and I've got to say, this might actually be one of my favourites so far. Just from the get-go, um, I will let you guys know how I get on with it, but all the colours are, like, right up my street. You know what, let's take some of that bronzer as well. Don't know if it's, like, double-check if it's got, like, a bit of shimmer to it. Okay, it's slightly, ever so slightly shimmery, but I don't think it'll show up too shimmery. Ooh, that's nice. It's like, it's not shimmery, it's not 100% matte, I don't think. It just kind of adds like, a bit more of a glow to my skin. But that is like, my ideal shade. Just kind of warms up the skin, not too warm, not too cool toned. Yeah, love that. So I'm just looking online right now, I just wanted to check the price, and it is $29.95. But they've actually now got a shop, which they didn't have last time I had the palette. So, you can basically, 
buy whichever palette you want. You don't have to like wait for any specific palette or whatever. And I think you can actually, yeah, you can actually buy like the lip pencils or whatever, like on their own. So yeah, if there was like a liner or something that you wanted from a previous palette, then you can just go and buy it on here. Yeah, I really, really like that. I think Amy did so, so good. So if you do happen to be watching, then well done girl, because this is sick. Right, one down. God knows how many to go. So next up, I have three new palettes from MUA. These are their 15 shade palette. This one's in Magnetic Charm. We also have Frosted Gleam. Quickly show you Magnetic Charm. That's Magnetic Charm. And then this one here is Green Goddess. Just try and make it not glare. Ooh, I've got to say, MUA are so good when it comes to shadows, they're always just insanely pigmented. I don't have a press release or anything, but I imagine it's MUA. These are gonna be super affordable as well, so thanks, guys. Next is a little parcel from Feel Unique that I actually got myself, and inside we have the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. I finally got my hands on it. I've been putting off buying it for such a long time, but I always see people rave about it, and yeah. Finally thought I would just give it a go. I'm already running out of room on my desk. Next up is a big old box from Cult Beauty, which I am so excited for. I actually had to repackage this, so I have seen what's inside, but I haven't swatched anything or anything like that. So first of all, I actually got one package from them a while ago because I did a little shoot with them with NYX around about Halloween. So in the first package that I got from them, by the way, can't quite get over that Cult Beauty are sending me packages. It's like the ultimate dream here. But first of all, I have this Eye Beauty Face Skin Brush. So it looks like this. It's a weird shape, but that is so soft. I don't think I've ever actually heard of this brand before, Eye Beauty. But yeah, that looks really cool. That looks like it would be good for like contouring or something. And I actually really, really like these brushes. I like them when they first came out and then I kind of like forgot about them. But I used them again recently and I'm obsessed. So I'm happy I've got another one of those. We then have, oh, a little bit of skincare. This is the Mabel and Meg Lumilixer. That sounds right up my street. Vitamin C serum and hyaluronic acid. Again, I've never heard of this brand before. We then have the Lialani Mermaid Mask. Superfood for your skin. Oh, that's got a smell. That looks interesting. So what does this do? Um, purify and renew. Radiant. Made from the soil and nectar of Hawaii. Okay. And it says stir well, gently massage into moist face. Is it like, oh, it's really, really solid. Okay, it's really, really solid. Like if I press my nail into that. Oh, we got some. Oh, oh my God, this is so thick. And that is very green. Next up is something that I am very excited about. It's the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. If you haven't heard of this, then it literally is a cream for your bum bum. So it says fast absorbing, oh, all over body cream. So I guess you can use it everywhere. That helps tighten and smooth like no other. Well, let me get into it so I can experience it. Yeah, I've heard so much about this. So I'm so excited they sent this over. It's by the brand Sol de Janeiro. Is that how you say it? Uh. Oh my God, that smells insane. I don't know what that smells like, but that's ridiculous. But yeah, but yeah, I've heard so much about this. Apparently it's really, really great at like tightening up your ass. So I will let you guys know how I get on. I will be sure to give you progress on how my bum is doing. And then last but not least from that first parcel that they sent over, we have a Huda Beauty liquid lipstick. It's one of the liquid mattes. This one is in the shade Silver Fox, <laughs> just like me. And let's see, I'm getting so excited now. Oh yes, you know that is my colour. I love like grey and like, oh yes, yes, yes. I actually have another liquid lipstick from Huda Beauty that I've never tried. Like, I've had it for, I think since I went to Paris last year, I went to Sephora and it cost me so much money. It was when Huda Beauty just came out and I've had it for such a long time, but I've never tried it. So I actually have two of these to try now, and I do actually plan on doing a Huda Beauty testing video, which you will soon see. So since we left off with Huda Beauty, we'll continue with Huda Beauty, and I honestly cannot believe how generous these guys are. So they sent over the Huda Beauty Winter Highlighter Palette. Is this girl not just like the biggest babe in all of eternity? So yeah, you have one cream, then you have three different actual highlighters. Let's have a little look. I think you meant to use that one as a base. Okay, they're kind of like duochrome almost. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. 
but then you're meant to go over the top with one of these. Let's do a little swatch. Oh, jeez. Okay, I see why everyone's going crazy about these, because these feel ridiculous. Let's just pop that there. Holy shit. Okay, that gold one is like, I'm gonna have to use a light hand, but that is 100% going on my face soon, so stay tuned for the testing video. Then, another product from Huda Beauty, honestly, like, it's literally like Christmas right now. So this is the, the, the what are you called? I don't, I don't actually know what this is called. It's like the, yep, not a clue actually. Not a clue, oh, contour and strobe lip set. Can we just appreciate that packaging? And inside, oh, this looks so good. I've heard so much about her lip liners as well. This one here is in the shade Muse. Oh, that's really pretty. It's like kind of mauve. And then inside that as well, we have this liquid matte liquid lipstick also in the shade Muse. This one is a matte one. Yeah, it's like pretty much an identical color to that. And then we also have one of the lip strobes in the shade Angelic. Again, heard so much about these. I see them all over Instagram. Oh, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Um, maybe I can like bend it back. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Is it supposed to be like that? But it seems to work, so I'm not too bothered. That is stunning. Yeah, I might have to do like a little Instagram video or something in true Huda Beauty style. Okay, that liner does not budge. Come on, son. So thank you, Cult Beauty, for that. But that's not all. We also have one of the, oh my god, I didn't realize it was in the shade, the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette. These are actually super tiny, but I'm kind of digging it, so... Let's just... Let's just appreciate this for a minute, because that is my jam. That is like, yes! And can we talk about that, like, is that a glitter or is that a silver? Because I know some of them are like, glitters. Okay, no, that is a silver and that is... I literally just tapped my finger on that. Holy shit. Okay. I see what you're doing there, Huda. That silver is actually so nice. And I'm not really much of a silver person, but goddamn. Then the last thing that I got sent from Huda Beauty from Cult is a pair of the Samantha lashes. I've actually wanted to try these for a really, really long time. The lashes I have on right now are actually from Huda. And I've had these, again, literally since I went to Paris last year. I got them when I did like a bit of a haul and it's the exact same pair. They're definitely on their last legs. I definitely need to get a new pair. And I realized that these are actually only £12.50. I say only, that's still pretty expensive for just one pair of lashes, but considering I must have used them over 30 times by now and they're still pretty good. I could probably still get a few uses out of them if I really wanted to. But yeah, these are like my all time favorite lashes. So I'm very excited that I have a pair of Samantha lashes as well because they're just kind of like my sort of thing. I think once I trim them, they'll Probably look quite similar to what I've got on now, but maybe a little bit more intense. So, super excited to try them. Now all I need to do is get my hands on the foundation and the testing video can commence. So the next thing from Cult, I have a bunch of Bleach London eyeshadows. A lot of you guys asked me to review them and Cult very kindly sent over a bunch. So I'm not gonna go through all the colors and swatch everything because I'm very conscious of the fact that I've literally just gone through like three parcels, but I've got like the metallic ones, the like original louder powders. I think these cost like three or four pounds or something, but they literally sent over like so many different colors as you guys can see. Oh wow, they've literally sent over even more. So yeah, we've got everything from like neutrals, blues, oh, a bright purple, um, reds, so many different colors. And then they also sent over two of their legal highlights. Oh, we gotta swatch that. We have gotta swatch that bad boy. So this one, that is a massive pan. This one is in the shade Golden Shower. Nice, real nice. Woo, yeah, that is really nice. I was worried it was gonna be a little bit too dark for me, but it actually comes out really, really nicely. So buzzing for that. I also have some of the Glitterati um, eye glitters, I guess they are. Yeah, just cosmetic body glitters. No glue needed, apparently. Okay, so we have Text Me Black. We have, oh my god, this is the one that I fell in love with. This shade here is called like Mermaid something. Washed up Mermaid. And then we also have Rosé. I think I'm gonna have to swatch Washed Up Mermaid. So they just come like this, kind of like how Makeup Geek shadows come. And you can also get like an eyeshadow palette or whatever, but let's have a little look. Okay. That is literally just like, oh wow. Okay. Give it a little wiggle. 
All right. And they also sent over the Galixia multi-purpose blending elixir. And by the way, it also says here that it is vegan and cruelty free. So I'm assuming all of them are. Yeah, all of them are vegan and cruelty free. So that is awesome. I know you guys want me to do like a cruelty free makeup tutorial or something. So I'm kind of taking note of a lot of things that are cruelty free at the moment. And then I have two of the like lip kit things from Bleach as well. So we have Awkward Peach. And then for some reason, this box is smaller. Don't really understand why, but we'll roll with it. This one is in matte LeBlanc. And I honestly, I love a good pun. So let's open these up. They kind of open up like, like cigarette packages almost. I don't want to swatch too much because I do want to do like a full first impressions on everything, but I'm just so curious. So yeah, if you guys do want a video for Bleach London, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know. But honestly, thank you so much to everyone at Cult Beauty because, oh my God. So next, okay. I cheated. I have actually been wearing this recently. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Scent of a Dream fragrance and I did actually box it up so it looks nice and fancy again, but yeah, I have been wearing it. Looks like this. Super nice packaging and I think this is meant to like do something to your pheromones or something. I don't really know how it works, but I think it's meant to make you horny or something. Can't say it's done much in that department, but it smells great. Really, really like it. And then they also sent over... Oh, the advent calendar, which I actually think I might do a giveaway for because I have the majority of products that are in here. Um, don't really want to do a spoiler, but maybe I'll open up like one or two just at random. So basically it's the Naughty and Nice Magic Box and inside you have 12 different drawers. If I just open this up, this is worth 150 quid, which is why I'm like, I feel like I should give it away to someone because on me, like I said, I have already got some of the products. So, yeah, think I might actually do a giveaway for this, maybe on my Instagram or whatever. So yeah, as you can see, you've got 12 different doors. Let's just take this one, for example. It's got a lipstick on it. And inside, oh, you actually get a full-size lipstick. This one is the Matte Revolution lipstick in the shade uh, Walk of Shame, which I think, if I remember correctly, is like a red. I don't actually think I have this, but I have a bunch of other Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, and they are awesome. So, so thank you so much, Charlotte Tilbury. I'm honestly so, so appreciative of this. I would love to keep it for myself, but like I said, I feel like it's a bit mean considering I do already have a bunch of the products inside. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna give it to one of the guys at home. So if you wanna be in with a chance of winning that, make sure you follow me on Instagram. All right, next, 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 next. Oh, this actually came today as well. So this, I believe, yes. This is actually from Lee Publicity who deal with the Asda makeup, the George makeup. They saw my video and they basically sent over a bunch of other products for me to try out. So I'm definitely gonna do another testing Asda makeup video because you guys asked if I could try out some of the other products. Let's see what they've sent over. Lots of tissue paper. Okay, they really did send over a lot. So first of all, I have this, this little bag and it says, Georges. Love a little pun. And then we also have, what is this? So we have the uh, Natural Warm Beige Foundation. So the other foundation that I haven't tried yet. We have the Brow Kit, a eyeshadow palette. One again that I haven't tried. I don't wanna swatch everything because I feel like I'll literally be here for hours now. The Strobe Highlighting Cream. We've got a Vava Volume Mascara. Is that the one I tried? I can't remember. Um, we have a eyeshadow single. Oh yeah, I think they actually do like, they do like a kind of build your own pan sort of thing. So I'm guessing this is one of them. This actually looks like it could be a really good like contouring bronzer shade actually. Uh, we have the Cosmic Blush. My bra's falling down. Another concealer. We have the powder that I've tried as well. I'm honestly gonna need to get more makeup storage just for this stuff alone. So thank you so much to Lee Publicity and Asda for sending over even more Asda makeup. Um, I'll definitely do another testing video for you guys soon. Next we have a box from Illamasqua. I've never tried anything from Illamasqua, but they emailed me around a week ago maybe and literally, like I don't even care what they said in the email. I can't even really remember, but I was just like, yes. It was something about, can we send you some products? And I was like, yes, you absolutely can. Thank you so much. So they've basically sent me a few different bits for me to try out. And they've also actually given me a, wait for it, 30% off for Black Friday. So I'm gonna hope that I can get this video up in time because Black Friday is actually tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure they said in the email that 30% off is like the biggest discount you can possibly get on Illamasqua. So if you did want anything, make sure you use that code. I don't make any money from it or anything like that. They just gave me that insane code for you guys. So yeah, it says here that they've sent over just a few different bits for me to kind of 
get a feel for the brand. So first of all, we seem to have a bunch of different lashes. Really been getting into my lashes lately, so I'm very excited for that. We have this pair, which is called Captivate, I think. I then have, oh, these look nice, nice and wispy. These are the Doe lashes. And then these look even nicer. These are even more wispy. They're actually very similar to what I've got on now, and these are in Desire. Oh my God, so much makeup. Then we have the No Way. I've heard so much about this. It's the Hydra Veil. I swear this is like the cult classic product for Illamasqua. It's like an actual jelly. If I shake it, oh my God, what the hell? It's like actual jelly. We then have the Delirious palette. I don't think I've ever heard of this, but it's in like red packaging, which makes me excited. Let's open it up. Oh yes, you know that is my jam. So we've got a, I think it's four mattes. This one's got like a bit of shimmer running through it, the black, but it's not really that much. Maybe three mattes, one matte with like a bit of shimmer running through it, and then four other shimmers. Let me know if any of you guys want any first impressions on any of these products or anything. Next, we have a lipstick, I believe. This one is in the shade Yuri Dice. Don't know if I'm saying that right. Love the packaging. Oh, wow. That is super bright. Okay, I definitely don't have anything like that in my collection. I've actually always been really curious about the mask lipsticks, so I'm excited to try that. And then, what do we have here? Oh my god, I've heard about this as well. Oh my god. This is the Beyond Powder, and I think it's a highlighter. It's in the shade Epic. Oh my, oh, I could cry. That is like, that is the most satisfying looking highlighter. It's like, it's like a cushion. I just want to like go to sleep on it. Interesting texture. Oh, that's nice. But that is like a really beautiful highlighter. Like I imagine if you wore this on your wedding day, that would look so, so nice. Honestly, I cannot believe the brands like this are sending little old me, little old Steph who's sitting in a 10 pound Primark dressing gown, all this makeup. All right, that's one side done. Another one to go. I think this pile is even bigger. So, what have we got up here? Okay, yeah, I remember what this was. So the other day I got a massive, massive parcel from Ico, which is a brand that I've used a few times in the past, although I don't know too much about them. And they've just sent over what looks like pretty much their entire makeup range. So if you guys don't know, Ico, they do a lot of stuff with eyes, so like mascaras, brows, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, they've literally sent over, I'll show you like, so many different products, and I think I might actually have some of these products already, so again, more to go in a giveaway. This is their Sport Waterproof Mascara, which I have tried and I did really like. We have the, uh, well it says Your Eye Amazing on the back, but it's the Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner. That sounds good, it's got like a super tiny tip. We have the Me and My Shadow Waterproof Shadow Liner, Shade and Line in Chocolate. Oh, they blend out really nicely. I am so excited to try that, you guys. Honestly, I know I keep saying I'm excited, but can you blame me? So then I've got two new products from Cover Effects. I think these are kind of like, I think one's a Christmas product and one's just like a newer product. Hopefully I won't blind you with this. As you can see, we've got a bunch of the mini custom enhancer drops. As you all know, I already have like every single one of these and I love them so, so much. They're just little, oh my God, look how cute that is. But you really don't need a lot of these, so I can't imagine you'd actually even get through something that size, but I think that might have to go in a giveaway as well, because I've already got them all. It would be rude of me not to. And then we also have the Perfect Highlighting Palette. Oh my god. Oh my god. So inside you have six different highlighters. Let's swatch a couple. Let's do this one here and this one here. They feel good. Pop those just there maybe. Oh, that one is so nice. That one's like super icy. You guys, my highlighter collection is literally growing by the day. We then have, oh, we've got a few little products from Barry M. So what I have here is the Glitter Fixer Gel. It's kind of like a glitter primer to go with this glitter, which is in the shade Fireball. It's just like a super golden glitter there. We then have the Matte Me Up Lip Kit. This one here is in the sh shade So Chic. Don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but it's like a super deep kind of chocolatey brown. I then have the That's How I Roll Mascara. I've tried the waterproof one before, but apparently this one is way better, so I'm looking forward to giving that a go. And then the thing that I am most excited about is their new Fall In Love palette. You guys have asked me to try this out. Let's just remove this 
packaging thingy a little bit if I can. Oh my god, I just dented it. Oh my god, no, I'm a horrible person. So this is what it looks like. I think you can tell why I'm so excited for this. Let's just give a couple colours a quick swatch. Maybe like this red and this like orange shade in the centre. Oh my god, that like mustardy colour looks banging. Yeah, they look really, really nice. I love wherever it is, that colour there. Really excited for that. I then have two products from Soap and Glory. I did already open these up and it actually came with a really, really cute uh, like Christmas cookie thing, but I ate it. A uh, little note to PR companies. If you ever send me anything that contains like anything edible, then I really, really do appreciate it. Um, I just eat it pretty much instantly because I'm a pig and if I see something covered in sugar, I eat it straight away. So thank you guys, I really appreciated it but I didn't manage to get a snap of it or anything like that. Anyway, what they've sent over is a few of their little Christmas selections. So we have the, the Sober Heroes gift set. This contains what looks to be a body butter, like two little kind of shower thingies, shower pods. Um, and you've got like a mixture of like the different scents that they do. So that's like a really nice little gift for someone. And they also sent over the Party Popper, which contains two of their lip glosses. I actually thought this was just like a normal Party Popper and then I actually looked at it. Um, but yeah, this contains two of their um, Sexy Motherpucker lip glosses. Again, I have all of these, so I think this might have to go to like a stocking filler or something. So yeah, thank you very much, Soap and Glory. Next up, we have some goodies from NYX. Now, like I said, I did a shoot with Cult Beauty and it was also with NYX as well a while ago and they sent me home with a bunch of different products so I thought I would show you guys them as well. So the first thing I have here, without blinding you, is the go-to goodies gift set. These are just really, really nice for Christmas. It contains a lip liner, a matte lipstick, and then like an eyeshadow quad, so that's really cool. We then have the Mattes versus Metal Vault. So this contains six of their liquid suede and six of their cosmic metals. Again, this shows I have too much makeup because I actually have every single one of these apart from the newer shade that I think is like limited edition to this or something. So that's definitely going in a giveaway as well. And then same goes for this bad boy here. Honestly, this is so hard to show you guys without blinding you, but this is their lingerie vault. I have every single color of their lip lingeries, again, apart from the newer shades that they've included in this kit. But I think I will give it away to one of you guys. So make sure, like I said, that you do follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways on there soon. As always, thank you very much to NYX. You guys are too good to me. Oh wait, that wasn't actually everything they sent. I've been talking so much this video that my lipstick's just like falling off. So they actually also sent me home with, if I can pick all of them up. So they actually also sent me home with their new In Your Element palettes, which I'm really, really stoked to try. And also some of their new liners. I think they actually sent me all of them. Yeah, there's a few on the floor over there, but I can't quite get to them because I've got like a million boxes in the way, but they sent me over all of their That's The Point um, liners. We've got one that's like a dot. Don't really know how to explain it, but you've got all these different like nibs to all of them. This one's a bit thicker. You've got this one, which is more of like a kind of nib, nib. And then this one is just like a straight nib. I don't really know how to explain them, but they're all like different liners. I think they're all the same formula, but it's like different applicators, that's the word. And then yeah, they sent me over four of their In Your Element palettes. So we have the fire one, which looks like this. I definitely think these warrant their own video. We have the earth one that looks like this. The wind one, which I have actually opened. I can't remember why I think I was gonna use it for a tutorial and then I didn't because I thought I would wait until I had the other ones. But this one here is wind, which I am loving the look of. Honestly, NYX eyeshadows are always just what the hell? Okay, I was gonna say NYX eyeshadows are always just so nice, but but that is actually ridiculous. And then we also have the Metals palette as well, which looks like so. I think the only one I'm missing is the water one. Um, we'll try and get my hands on that one, but yeah, thank you so much to NYX for those. I then got sent some bits from Zoeva, which you guys know I love. I pretty much exclusively use Zoeva brushes and Iconic London brushes now. They are honestly some of my favorites. So what they've done is sent over their offline collection. Ooh, they are bright. Ooh, is that a highlighter? I'm literally like a magpie. Looks like that. You can't really see it now because my fingertips are just like covered in a million and one swatches. That looks quite pretty, quite subtle. So they also sent over the eyeshadow palette that goes along with that. I don't think I've seen this as much. Ooh, they're nice. So you've got like a bunch of neutrals on one side and then pops of color on the other. Let's maybe take this purple. Yeah, Zoeva shadows are always so bomb and they're pretty affordable as well. I then have their Opulence palette. This is like their face one. Looks like this. That looks really nice as well. That looks very intense for a blush for me. 
Wow, okay, that could be a really nice eyeshadow. I think if you have darker skin, then that could look really nice, just like lightly dusted onto your cheeks. And then we have the Do Not Touch highlighter. Oh, that is, that is actually pretty intense. Then again, that's also come with the Opulence palette as well, which I think I've seen you guys ask me to try out. So let me know if you want like a full tutorial with this or something. Look at that red and look at that blue. You know we're gonna have to swatch these. Mmm! They also sent over the Caramel Melange palette and I actually think I have pretty much every single one of the Zoeva palettes apart from this one. And this is the one that's like right up my street that all of you guys have told me that I need to get because I would love. And you are so right because that is literally, that is like my colour scheme especially. Like these tones up here, so nice. I'm gonna regret, oh my god, that colour is, that orange, what the hell? And then they also sent over their Opulence brush set. Like I said, I love Zoeva brushes, I honestly do. They always come in this really, really fancy pouch. Just got a bunch of different brushes. We've got like buffer brushes, eye brushes, a little bit of everything. Like I said, I do already have a ton of their brushes. So again, going in the giveaway. Next is a box that I couldn't quite believe my eyes when I got this. I showed some of you on Instagram stories and I was just like, what the hell? I'm gonna try and whiz through this quickly because I am gonna do testing videos on both of these brands. I got sent a bunch of stuff from Pure. Um, Pure and Too Faced have the same PR, so it all came in the same parcel, but we have this kind of lip kit situation. Let's pop that there. We have their Quick Pro Portables. One's like a contouring palette, and I believe one's a highlighting palette. I looked these up online. These are actually only 15 quid, and Pure's kind of more of like a high-end brand, but that is actually pretty affordable. We have the Soiree Diaries eyeshadow palette, and I swear, if I was to ever make an eyeshadow palette, this would be like my color scheme. The marble, the like rose gold copper, just yes, so much yes to this. What else do we have? The Pure Correcting Primer and the Pure 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup. This one is in the shade Light Tan. I think I've heard Jamie Genevieve talk about this before, like a while ago, and she used to use it all the time, so if it's good enough for Jamie, it is certainly good enough for me. And then this is what made me freak on Instagram because I literally just couldn't believe my eyes. So I then got the big old package from Too Faced and they sent over their chocolate bar, the semi-sweet chocolate bar, which I have never tried. It's got like a bunch of neutrals and a blue. You guys know I love my blues, so buzzing to try that. We have the Better Than Sex waterproof mascara. I think I've tried a mini of the original Better Than Sex, but apparently the waterproof is so much better, so I'm really looking forward to trying that. We have the Born This Way concealer. Again, heard so much about it I'm literally just gonna be like repeating myself over and over again because I've heard so much about all these products same goes for their foundation this one is in the shade natural beige I think that'd be a good match for me I also have their hangover 3-in-1 primer spray I've tried a mini of their hangover primer before but this is like the new one I think it's like a replenishing primer setting spray it says 3-in-1 but I don't really know what the third thing is oh Prime, set, and refresh, so you can use it before your makeup, after your makeup, whatever. I then have their Coco Contouring Set. You guys know that the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer is my all-time favorite bronzer. Like, literally, hands down, nothing beats that for me. So really looking forward to trying some of their other bronzers. I also have one of their Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This one here is in the shade Cool Girl. I think this is like a nude or something. Yeah, that is like, that is so up my street. I honestly want to try everything right now, but I know a lot of these are like reserved for testing videos, so I gotta keep my cool. We also have their Bulletproof Brows. This is the 24 hour waterproof cashmere clay and bulletproof brow brush. That is a long ass name, but I've never really heard anyone talk about this, so let me know if you've tried it. And then I also have their Love Light Highlighter, which I believe were like a thing maybe a year ago. Look at that. Let's give it a swatch. Ooh, interesting. Okay, it actually swatches like crap on my finger, but blends out really, really nicely. So I'm actually very curious to how this will look, because I've heard mixed reviews, but I mean, that looks nice. It's not like as intense as what I've got on right now, but that does look really, really nice. My memory card is just about to run out of storage and I'm gonna have to get out of this area somehow, but I'm literally surrounded by so many products, help me. I'm literally gonna have to like duck under the table uh, oh. Uh. oh my god, I'm stuck. I'm so stuck. Oh, I made it. I'm okay. Uh. I'm back. So next up, we have a massive, massive box from Fragrance Direct. I know exactly what is in here. 
but it's all pretty exciting so I thought I would show you guys. If you don't know then I basically do videos for Fragrance Direct every single month. I do pretty much one a week over there so make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I do like tutorials and different things like that. So basically every single month I get to pick out a ton of stuff from their website to use in those videos and this month we're focusing on Christmas gift guides so I've got a lot of like presenty style things which get me very excited. So I'm doing a men's gift guide as well so I've got some like boring men's stuff here. Ollie loves this, it's the Uppercut um, Matte Clay. Smells really good, but I know that he loves it and I thought it could be like a nice little stocking filler as well, so I got that. We then have this, let me just take this bag off. So this is a Ralph Lauren, there we go, Ralph Lauren gift set, um, it contains four different fragrances. I know that Ollie's dad loves this stuff. I think the red one or maybe the blue one is his favourite so I thought that would obviously be a good gift and then I can just pass it on to Ollie's dad. Another gift set for the guys, this is the Bulgari Man in Black gift set so it contains, I think it was like, does it say on the box? No, it contains a wash bag, the fragrance itself, um, a shower gel and then also an aftershave I believe. This is one of Ollie's favourite fragrances so I thought I'd pick this up for him. He's literally begging for me to hurry up and do these videos so that he can get this because I think he's running low. Then for kind of like women's stocking fillers. I have this All Akili Lavender Candle. This is actually super cheap online as well and I think they do a bunch of different scents. I also have this which I thought looked quite cool. It's this Sibel Massage Hot Massage Oil and it's basically like a candle. I don't know if you guys can see. It's basically a candle. It's got a wick. It smells so so good. It smells like essential oils. But yeah it just like melts the oil and then you can just use this handy little jug to pour it on yourself. I feel like that sounds very painful but also very relaxing. I then have this matte lipstick gift set from NYX. Now I think these were like last year's Christmas sets but they're like half the price on Fragrance Direct and there's literally like nothing wrong. I then have this little gift set from NYX. It contains three matte lipsticks and I really, really love the NYX matte lipsticks. So as you might be able to see, you've got three different kind of vampy shades. You've got a purple, a red and then like a deep brown. And I think these are like a tenner or something. And it's like half price compared to what they used to be. Another little stocking filler is this cute little makeup bag. It's from the brand Emma Lomax. And they did a bunch of these. They had one that was in like the shape of a lipstick. It looked super cute. So I thought something like that could work really well for a stocking filler as well. And then I also picked up some makeup for a little Christmas tutorial that I'm doing as well. So we have this W7 Face Fantasy Matte Finish Foundation. We also have, oh I've actually wanted to try this for a really long time, it's the L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt. This one is in the shade Medium Dark but I think it'll still work quite well. I then have the Volume Million Lashes Mascara, I think this is from L'Oreal, yep L'Oreal and I swear I've had this before in the past like years ago and I think I really really liked it. I also have this which is the Cream Puff from Max Factor. Honestly this smell just takes me back to my youth because I used to use this so much back in the day. I'm thinking about doing a video of how I used to do my makeup when I was like a teenager or something because I use this all the time but I'm curious as to how it'll apply like as a regular powder as opposed to how I used to apply it when I used to slap it over my face. I then have this W7 Casino little kit. I gotta say I love the packaging on this. Oh there goes the little sleeve down my sleeve and inside as you can see you've got four different shades. You've got a highlighter and I'd say I don't know it says there's a contour but I don't really see a contour because they all seem to be quite metallic. And then I guess I'll move on to like the bigger presents for women. So what I have here is the uh, therapy. It's from the Rox O'Neill. I've had like their Himalayan bath salts before and I really, really liked them but this is a little gift set. Uh, it's the Heal Me one and oh my god this smells absolutely ridiculous. For another gift idea I have this Magnetone uh, facial cleanser. I think that's what it's called, daily cleansing brush. I actually have one of these. I have the pink one and I've had it for years and I do still use it on occasion and it's really really good. It's kind of like a Clarisonic but a bit cheaper so yeah I got one of those. So then as a little present for me even though after today's video I definitely don't need any more presents for like the rest of my life. I got myself the Narciso by Narciso Rodriguez perfume. I haven't had this in so long and I really, really love it. I think I actually got this originally right at the start of my YouTube channel and I can't open it. So yeah you've got that gift set there if you guys were looking for different gift sets then obviously being Fragrance Direct, they have a ton of fragrance gift sets. And then as another little gift idea, something a bit more practical, this is the Tweezerman um, Precision Tools, but that's not what it's called, it's the Tweezerman Tweezers, these are just in the rose gold shade. And then I actually forgot that I ordered this, but I'm so excited, it is actually another present for me. It's the Tom Ford Black Orchid Perfume, I couldn't believe it when I saw that Fragrance Direct was stocking Tom Ford. I know it's really annoying watching YouTubers smell things because you can't smell them at home, but if you've tried Black Orchid, 
you know what I'm experiencing right now. That is definitely going to be one that I wear for very special occasions. Okay, there's still more. There's, there's still more. There's two more packages. So the next thing is actually from Deck of Scarlet as well. Same brand as the um, palette that I opened first. So this is what they've sent over. And I think I know what this is because I think I saw a press release on it. Let me see if I can open it up. Yes. Oh my God. Talk about bougie packaging. So that is what everything looks like inside. And basically they've come out with a new eyeshadow collection. So obviously they have their palettes and you can now buy single eyeshadows as well. So what you have here, I really don't know where to like put any of this. What you have here is the palette that you can put all the eyeshadows in. And then you have, yeah, all the different eyeshadows then. They all look like super foiled and metallic. I'll swatch one. I think I might have to do like a first impressions video or something and include it in like a full face or whatever. So let me know if you want to see that. So that's what it looks like. Let's do a one, two, three. Yeah, bomb. So bomb. Mmm. And then last but not least, I have a big old box filled with some of the products that Revolution and Tan Beauty have sent over to me recently. So I thought you guys might want to see that. I think it's like a nice way to end the video. So first up is something that's actually going to go in the giveaway again. This is the I Heart Makeup Milk Chocolate Palette. You may have seen my comparison video with this compared to the Subculture Palette. And you guys actually preferred the way the I Heart Makeup Palette looked. So one of you will be getting one of those. I then have, which you guys have been asking me about for such a long time, all of the new Life on the Dance Floor palettes. So we have this one, which is guestless, so like super glittery. Oh no, I need to open this up. Okay, oh my god. Oh. They also sent over one of their Retro Luxe lip kits. This is actually one of the glosses, which I haven't tried before. It's in the shade Integrity. So you've got the lip liner and also the liquid lipstick. Ooh, that looks really nice. I quite like a deep, vampy, glossy lip. What else do we have? So they also sent over one of their Pearl Lights Loose Highlighters. I haven't really seen anyone talk about these. I think they're like, they're new, but they're not the newest. Looks like that. Oh, that actually looks very intense. This one here is in the shade Pearl Lights. Oh no, True Gold. Let's swatch that one there. Oh, it feels weird swatching with my left hand. Yeah, I'm definitely not used to swatching with this hand. That's nice. That's actually pretty intense. Then, to go with the Life on the Dance Floor palette, I have every single one of their lipsticks. Mmm, that's creamy. And the last few things from Revolution, we have this palette. It's their Pro HD palette in the shade Innovation. This looks good. This looks real good. Can't get into it though. Yeah, can't. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. So that is what that palette looks like, giving me some serious Morphe vibes. Yeah, again, that looks right up my street. So I'm gonna keep that, I'm gonna save it for the testing video, but I'm really excited to use that and also the Life on the Dance Floor palettes. And then last but certainly not least is another palette that I'm very excited for. It is the Pro HD Amplify palette. And if I just show you guys, you can see why I'm so bloody excited for it. Looks very similar to the big like Ofra book that I know they do. So I'll just quickly go ahead and swatch a few. Let's swatch three. I've already swatched this one and I wanna show you guys how good it is. So this one is extra. Yep. We also have lit. Ooh, that one's nice too. And then let's swatch. This one actually looks very, very similar to the Ofra Nick Tutorials one. Let's maybe go in for yes. Mmm. I knew this was a good one to end on. So I will just pop those there. And that is all I have to say. And we're done. Oh my god. Alright guys, so that is everything that I've been sent over the past couple of weeks. And I honestly don't even know what to say right now. Thank you so much to all the brands and PR companies that sent me all of these amazing products. I've done PR hauls in the past, but they've never been as insane as this. So thank you so, so much. But also a big thank you to you guys at home as well. I mean, there's over 100,000 of us now, which honestly just blows my mind every time I see that subscriber count. But yeah, it's all thanks to you guys that I'm able to receive so many amazing products and get so many amazing opportunities. But yeah, I just wanna let you guys know how much I appreciate you and how much I appreciate all of this because I know PR hauls can sometimes come across as a little bit braggy, but I honestly, appreciate every single product that gets sent to me. Like, you can ask Ollie. Whenever something comes through the mail, I'm like, oh my god, this is the best day of my life. I even got sent light bulbs that I bought myself the other day 
and it was like the best day of my life so I don't want you guys to ever think that I'm taking any of this for granted. I appreciate everything that comes my way, I appreciate every single one of you guys most importantly and I just wanted to let you all know that. As always if you guys enjoyed this video then you know what to do, please do give it a big thumbs up because that really does help me out a lot and also subscribe if you don't want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Uh, now I've got to tidy all this up.